Hi, so welcome to today's video. We're halfway through. Can't believe it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so today's video is called Our Language of Magic. Now this, this really follows on from the, the stripping back uh, video where we looked at the essential elements of, of our business and whether they whether they were full of magic or whether they were full of efforting and obligation and trying and that kind of thing. Um, to just talk a little bit about language today. So the example that's come up for me this morning when I was thinking about uh, this video is um, sharing your work. Now I think of, of um, if you like, putting, putting my work uh, out into the world as invitations and sharing. Those, those are the kind of words that, that I like. Um, here's a word I don't like, <laughs> promoting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know why that is. Like, like, I just don't like the word promoting when people talk about promoting their business or whatever. I basically, my brain goes to the data bank and brings up boxing promoters who are normally like very hyped, very in their head, very fast. Everything's about, about, big bucks and, 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 and whatever, it just like, just, you know, doesn't float my boat at all. It's really intriguing. I can't, if, if I read in someone's advert or whatever, helping you with promotions, they could be the best, like a uh, Facebook ads person in the world. It's just like promotion, promoting. You want me to promote what I do? Nah, I can't do that. I'm not, it just doesn't interest me at all. It doesn't make it wrong. There's nothing wrong with promoting there's nothing wrong with making big bucks it's cool it's exciting why not but that language isn't magical for me it just doesn't resonate in any shape or form when i think about the word my body feels flat but like if i think um if i think of like inviting people or selecting oh my god yeah selecting people to to partake in a program or, or something, then it's like, oh yeah, and I can I can do that. I can do that. So if you're if you're surrounding yourself with so it'd be funny actually in these videos, like there will be people who watch, I'm sure, who like the idea but just won't resonate I with either with the energy or my language or or something. It'll just be like, oh yeah, I get what you're saying, but like no, Ooh, no. That's really funny, isn't it? So and of course it's so normal and that, that's fine. And it doesn't mean they, they can't work with you or anything, or anything, but it's just like, oh no, that's not my point of resonance at all. So like when, when we're sort of resonating our own magic, it, it automatically speaks to, to the magic in the people who resonate in the same way. It's, it's quite simple really, like, like if you, um, uh, in music, if you read, if you resonate a certain string, you know, on a violin or whatever, then then other things of a similar frequency within the same area will will resonate in 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 a similar way. It's just basic physics, essentially. So so the all important thing is when we're stripping back and then we're looking at our own language of magic is that it's our own language of magic. You know, don't start trying to imagine what your audience wants or anything like that. So, as far as I can tell, that's a total head screw. I wouldn't know how to begin to do that. Like the only thing I can do is be exactly what I am in the world. I've done it again, haven't I? I've put this one out publicly live. Darn, like what a numpty. Never mind, doesn't matter. Um, so your own language of magic is is just so so key because it's it's your frequency of like of like the best of you in in the world. So if you've if you've been you know learning with other people or you know reading or whatever and and you can see what they're pointing at but the language just doesn't fit like find what fits for you find what your magical language is and then you can utilize that and then you'll get your own resonance your own frequency what it's pointing to is always the same so like inviting sharing promoting advertising they're all pointing to the same thing but if it doesn't if it doesn't really get you, if you're not like really resonating and in line with it, that, that will come across in what you're doing. So just don't think about it in those terms. Think about it in your own terms, your own language of magic. So that's your reflection today. 
you stripped back, you looked at the different elements in your business. Now, which one of those are you out of magic with? Which one of those are you using learnt, uh, learnt language or someone else's language or something that just kind of leaves you going Ugh, flat? You know, and just change it. <laughs> it's simple. Just just pick something that that excites you. You don't need to think about it in my terms or anybody else's terms. You're the gold you're looking for. Uh, and that's the direction that we keep looking each time. Okay, see you on the next video.